Uh, here we have two ink cartridges. Um, this is probably um, the most modern one that HP are selling at the moment. We have a shop and a website and we refill ink cartridges. And the HP 302 is one that um, we get asked to refill quite common. And this is an older one. Um, we still refill them, but it is starting to show its age a bit. But if you notice, like they're the same length, the same width. They're basically the same on the side. Um, you know, this has got a little bit skinnier, but basically they're very, very similar. Um, but there is one huge difference. The HP 302 is quite a cheaper cartridge now, um, and this is actually a setup one. So, it, you know, it is a very small sponge in there, and I'm going to show you that. So first, I'm going to show you what the older cartridges were like. They were more expensive, but they had, like, quite a big sponge. So we can probably fill 15 mils of ink into that and someone would get pretty good value because we only charge something like 6 99 for a black. So then you would have your HP 302 and you're probably thinking it's going to have the same look inside but there you go. Tiny, tiny, tiny sponge. It actually is ridiculous. And I can actually show you how small it is if we take that out. Like that is just such a little sponge and we can only fill that with three or four mils of ink. So if someone brings in a cartridge, they're only getting three or four mils of ink. Um, and if you can see what the older ones were like, like it's massive in comparison. I would imagine, oh, well look, you just, it's obvious. It's just tiny and this sponge is heavier as well. It's kind of a stronger material that would take more ink. It seems that these don't seem as absorbent as the older ones. So I would say you're only getting a quarter of the ink than you used to get. So I wonder if anyone could would like to comment and say why you think HP have made the sponges so small. I know we, we have our ideas.